the popular Midtown restaurant we've been telling you about for months now is closed. The state comptroller's office locked Taste Bar and Kitchen out of their location on Bagby Street Tuesday for non-payment of sales tax. 13 investigators first told you about the money they owed the state last week. Micah Hatfield has been on this story from the start. She's live with several new developments, Micah. Eric, a lot has been going on this week inside the courtroom at the location on Bagby Street in Midtown at the other locations that Chef Don Bowie is planning to open. I want to break it all down for you. About 1 a.m. on Monday, people nearby say a U-Haul truck pulled up outside Taste Bar and Kitchen. Surveillance video obtained by ABC 13 shows people moving tables, chairs and other equipment out of the restaurant into the moving truck for about an hour. Later that morning, a judge presiding over Chef Don Bowie's case with his landlord over the property on 3015 Bagby ruled in favor of the landlord. Court documents say Bowie can file an appeal or he has to get out by September 7th. The court says a notice of appeal has been filed. But in a twist of events, Taste was kicked out of their Midtown location the day after the ruling. The state comptroller's office seized the property on Tuesday. They tell ABC 13 that as of today, Taste owes $206,000 in back taxes to the state. Plus, they said Bowie's other restaurant, Rare Steakhouse on Washington, that opened earlier this year, owes $140,000 in back state taxes. That property has not been seized. You wouldn't know any of this was going on if you looked at Taste's Instagram. They posted Monday that the Midtown location is closed until further notice for renovations, encouraging customers to try their Sugarland location that's located in Missouri City or their new location in downtown Houston. We stopped by the spot on the corner of Main and Prairie Streets. It's supposed to be opening later this week. We saw a similar looking U-Haul from earlier in the week outside and employees unloading equipment. The city shows on their website that the permits for the location are on hold. We reached out to Bowie to find out how they plan to move forward, and we've not heard back. Chef Don Bowie is a co-owner of Taste Bar and Kitchen in Midtown and Rare Steakhouse on Washington that opened earlier this year. Court records show he's being sued by his business partners at both restaurants, an attorney out of Dallas for Taste and Texans legend Andre Johnson and singer Akon, who opened Rare with the chef both claiming in their civil petitions that hundreds of thousands of dollars are missing and they found unexplained transfers out of the restaurant's accounts. ABC 13 first told you all of that information at the end of June. Since then, we've heard from numerous employees who claims their checks bounced when they try to cash them and say it takes days for them to clear the bank. We've reviewed hundreds of health code violations and seen the restaurant shut down by the health department. Bowie has also been in court with the landlord of his Midtown restaurant for the majority of the year. The landlord claiming in court that he's not received rent all year. Just this week, Bowie lost an eviction suit and has to file an appeal or get out by September 7th. Hours before the judgment, surveillance cameras caught employees loading a U-Haul with equipment at 1 in the morning. So when the state comptroller's office seized taste this week, there was little left inside. They tell us Taste owes more than $200,000 in back taxes to the state, and Rare owes about $140,000. As all of this played out, Bowie opened a location in Missouri City and posted to Instagram that he's opening another location in downtown this week. We asked Houston police if they're looking into any of this, but they're not able to say whether they are or not. The city of Houston said they were investigating what was happening after the landlord appeared at city council, but we've asked several times for an update on that investigation and have not heard back.